Let me, let me just <coughs> let me expand on what Ray just said here on this idea of uh, longevity escape velocity. So uh, science is continually extending the human lifespan, helping us cure heart disease, cancer, or eventually neurodegenerative disease. And so there's a point at which for every year that you're alive, science is extending your life for more than a year. And, uh, and there, it's a mechanism of living long enough to live forever, to coin your phrase. When do you, what's your projection, prediction of when we're going to hit longevity escape velocity? So I think uh, we'll actually hit it before we can prove that we've hit it. Okay. Uh, I think I've hit it myself. I think my life expectancy is not getting shorter. It's, it's actually getting longer. Uh, for one reason for that is that I'm very aggressive in adopting sort of cutting edge ideas and keeping track of uh, my own situation and uh, being proactive. Um, but for the but general I, public, I, what do you think, the, what's the number of, her, I've heard you quote a number, I just want to... I think it's, it's only, you know, 10, 12 years away. So uh, let me just translate that, right? You're Be because that, that, at that point, biotechnology is going to have taken over medicine. It's just begin, the next decade is going to be a profound revolution. It's, it's bio and, and AI and, together. And that's, yeah. well, I mean, AI helps biotechnology but it's fundamentally biotechnology, and that's just bridge two. Yep. That'll bring us to bridge three, which is nano robots that can basically finish the job of the immune system.